speaking of gross, you know, thanks to the whole missing Ocean Gate sub thing, yep. uh-huh. people have been digging up this old clip from a 2009 episode of Mythbusters mm. where they show what happens to the human body during an underwater implosion. Oh, yeah. They, there's... So it just gets ripped apart. Oh, they, no. Well, from the TikTokers I saw, they said yeah. it was liquid, right? Well, they made a, a fake person out of pig parts with, you know, bones, muscle, mm-hmm. fat, oh, skin, God. guts, things like that. And they put it into a diving suit and they dropped it down 300 feet underwater. So not far. At a pressure of 135 PSI. And the results just with that were gnarly. And that's at 135 PSI. They say the depth of the Titanic, that would be around 5,600 to 6,000 PSI. Mm-hmm. God. But so people are watching that and it's, it is gross. Like the whole, it's like one of those old timey diver's helmet things, like the big heavy metal ones. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With the, you know, the, the circular glass, you know, uh, face mask, thing. face hatch thing looking, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. And all of a sudden just like, it's filled with just blood. It looks like, like if you put like, if you put something bloody and fleshy in a blender, oh like just, yeah. yeah. And it, it's instant. Well, yeah, I mean, it, yeah. Well, yeah. Not, I, 135 PSI, like, it, it, it happened pretty quickly, but not instantaneously. And that's the thing. They see, for the record, uh, this reenactment has little in common with what the sub-passengers on that Titan submersible experienced. Um, they said uh, they didn't even know anything. I, like, they were I instantaneously know. killed. Yeah. Much sh- greater yeah. depth, much higher pressure. They say that the wow. human eyes, like, take 13 milliseconds to you know, react to something that's wrong. Right. And then also it takes a hundred milliseconds to feel pain. This was yeah, what, nothing. A nanosecond. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That and, this happened? and you get turned to liquid or dust or, yeah. you know, whatever yeah. that, right. at that intense heat that they were talking about. They said like it would, it would turn nothing. the air inside, like within a couple hundred milli, whatever they said, milliseconds yeah. uh, into a temperature hotter than the surface of the sun. I mean, that's just incinerated. <laughs> Yeah. Dust gone. Mind boggling. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was listening to a, a career Navy guy talk about this, and he was saying he wasn't surprised because the submersible was made out of different materials. So you mm-hmm. had one material for like the hull, you had like plexiglass for the, you know, to look out, sure. the portholes, and there was another material. And he said, their molecular structure is just too different, that they expand and contract at different uh. rates, and that. You know, that oh. made sense to him that probably like there was a hole in something like something yeah. became loose because of the way it expanded and contracts. And if you think about submarines like that, the Navy would use, mm-hmm. it's all one material. It's made out mm-hmm. of the same thing the right. whole way around. And right. There's no portholes. There's no anything like that right. because so the molecular structure remains intact. Interesting. And yeah. I was like, huh, that's pretty fascinating. And I saw something else where uh, some science dude, he was explaining, he was like, look, you can drop your phone a hundred times and it won't break. Mm-hmm. He goes, you know, but that you drop it one time and it doesn't mm-hmm. even seem like it's that bad. And all of a sudden it's just like cracked Shattered. and yeah. mm-hmm. spider webbed and the whole thing. And he says, because all those other times you dropped it, it created little like micro mm-hmm. breaks. Like oh. it, yeah, it, and I think that's what the it, Navy it guy compromised. Was so like this yeah. thing has been down there, like this yeah. Titan sub has been down there, and so over that, it, it, in, in um, uh, exposed to that kind of pressure, or whatever. Over time, it created these little, mm-hmm. you know, faults or, yeah. right. or whatever, and so you know, it was just a matter of time before. That's exactly what that guy was uh, saying. Yeah, it put me down a rabbit hole of, uh, you know, like <laughs> you know, I'm a doomsday guy, so I'm of always course. worried about. Super volcanoes and stuff like that. Then it got me into submarines, and then the Russian submarine that could like cause a tidal wave that's a thousand feet high, <laughs> called Poseidon. Yeah, yeah, it just got me Is that worried real? about whole. Oh yeah, that's real. Did they ever test it? They have not. <laughs> so how do we know? Yeah. A thousand yeah. feet yeah. high. Yeah, they got, what what they got, island did they demolish? Yeah, yeah. like oh, they just, yeah, just find some it. uninhabited island in the middle of somewhere. Like I would like to see. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, I want to see it work. It's, yeah, it's nuclear. So. Well, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of nuclear subs, but I, I, I want to see, I want to see a sub that can create a 1,000 foot tidal wave, <laughs> or just something like you know, some blowhard is trying to being hyperbolic. Like I could see, like, uh, was it North Korea, where everybody's convinced that uh, your buddy Kimmy, mm-hmm. oh your hero, yeah, yeah like uh, he came from the sun or some crap like that. Oh, like yeah, they, they have people convinced of the dolphins. dumbest things. Yeah, yeah he talks to dolphins. <laughs> they live on the sun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and when he's yeah. here, he's just visiting. Yeah, he's just from, commuting from, from the sun. Yeah, he commutes. Uh-huh. Yeah, and people are like, oh, cool. 
<laughs> they just say that it I'm would like on TikTok. Yeah. It would wreck a coast uh, for decades. Yeah, but is that real? Like, like I want, like how I, does that I, work? I don't want to test it out. I, don't, I just want to. I just want to see: is it real? Like, how does that work? Yeah, and how know? would it do that? Yeah, uh, a nuclear bomb mm. towards a thousand coast? feet. A uh, thousand foot high wave. That sounds from, uh, a, from a sub. That sounds like they're flexing. Sounds like something in one of Ravi's <laughs> movies. That she yeah, likes. yeah. I mean, I've seen that movie. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah. I do want to see uh, Oppenheimer. Oh, oh really? You're yeah. the one. Ravi's I've been, been wondering. wondering. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're who the would one. Go see that. I would. Mm-hmm. It's fascinating. Three hours of building the atomic bomb. Yeah. No, looks, thank you. Well, I mean, it's clearly not for you because it's reality. It's reality. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah there's no, no nobody well, flying, no right. wizards, no dragon. <laughs> but I honestly, I was wondering, like, who would go see that? Well, oh. a lot of people are going to go see it, ironically, now, because there's this thing on the internet called Barbenheimer, where they're going to see the Barbie <laughs> movie and that bomb movie. At the, Oppenheimer? On, yeah, on the same day. Double yeah. feature. Yeah. <laughs> I, think it, I think it looks cool. Also, the guy from. I mean, uh, you're in love with Killian Murphy, obviously. Yeah, right. the dude from Piggy Blinders. Mm-hmm. I mean, you want to have sex with played the so main bad. character from Piggy <laughs> yeah, okay. Blinders. He's in it, but I mean, the story is really interesting. Yeah, I, I've, I've seen the trailer a number of times going to the movies. Still, I can't even retain the name of the movie. Well, um, that's not an easy word for you, Oppenheimer. 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 <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> only a legendary person. <laughs> I guess. Um, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I don't right. have any interest in it. <laughs> Only change the course of civilization. I thought that was Einstein. I mean, I saw him in the trailer. Einstein was, is in the trailer. Yes. It wasn't he the one? They always give him the credit for coming up with it. What for the? They do. Einstein for developing the atomic bomb. Yeah, that he like no. came up with the formula to make it happen. I mean, there might have there might have been like a some piece of science that they used to sure. then develop. To be that, honest, that's what know. I feel that I've been told my whole yeah, life. Yeah, that's what I, mean, I was always told, too. Well, yeah. this tracks. Yeah, well, well, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Maybe you should go see Oppenheimer. Maybe. <laughs> Blame, get the real story. Blame teachers. Blow off the Barbie movie and go see Oppenheimer. <laughs> yeah, Einstein <laughs> see, sucks. Like, like, I'm wondering, who the hell wants to go see the Barbie movie? Well, like, I'm wondering that's that, that as well. Yeah. Like, if you, that tracks. <laughs> if, if you bring kids or something like that, but I'm seeing adults. Kidless kids, adults. So many this is for adults, adults. This posting is not really about for kids. it. Yeah, kids I don't, don't get care it. about Barbie, do they? Yeah, yeah. little girls do. I, I think. Yeah, yeah. My adults. daughter. Your daughter had the yeah. Barbie dream house. But like, my daughter wants to see it, like nostalgia stuff. I, you know, I, I can see if you're bringing it's like a family movie kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You know, bringing the kids or whatever. But like, who's the who's the well besides Sammy? I was I say, <laughs> that's me. I've been waiting for this movie to come out. I'm so excited. It looks like it's gonna oh, be God. fun. Oh, cool. I'm an adult. I want to go see Barbie. <laughs> yes, it's made for adults. Yeah, <laughs> that's the sad part. It's made for adults. It's a very Correct. curious weekend. <laughs> you know, when movie releases next Dude, month. Just Barbenheimer it. Yeah, Ray. Barbie. Yeah, I'm not doing either of that. Just right. Einstein uh, Barbie it. Yeah. Time for a uh, brand new Redneck News. The Woody Show. If you own more camouflage shirts than collared ones, we gonna hear about your ass on Redneck News for sure. And today's Redneck News is from Minnesota, where you got this loser named Tristan Statina. And he's managed to get himself arrested three times in recent months. Tristan. The latest incident being an unprovoked Skittles attack on customers and employees at a restaurant. Now, according to the police report, Tristan walked into the restaurant, pulled out some Skittles, and just started whipping them at random people. just throwing these Skittles. A woman identified as victim number one in the court filing says that she was, quote, hit in the back with a Skittle. Oh, no. Which caused a stinging pain. But don't worry, she survived. All right. Woo. And when the cops arrived at the restaurant, they noticed there were Skittles all over the ground and a bag of Skittles near the garbage. Now, Tristan, he was gone by the time they got there, but based on the description they got from the witnesses, which was that he had a super sweet heart-shaped tattoo under his eye and another really cool tattoo on the other side of his face. Awesome. Great. They knew exactly who they were looking for. Like, oh, that guy, the guy that we've had run-ins with already in the last couple months. And uh, they found him outside of a nearby business. Now, he did try to fight them when he was being arrested, but he was outnumbered three to one. They oh. took his ass to the ground and well, put him in custody. Fair. He was taken to jail, charged with misdemeanor assault and disorderly conduct for the Skittles thing, as well as resisting arrest. Hmm. So there you go. That's uh, Tristan Satina from Minnesota. 
who tried to fight the cops as he was being arrested for assault for carrying out a random Skittles attack. <laughs> nice. And yeah. that is today's Red Nick News! What a waste of Skittles. I know, right? And a stinging pain. Yeah. Really, lady. From a Skittle. Really, lady. Yeah, so uh, this is what people are texting over with. Einstein came up with the theory... Oppenheimer is the one who developed the bomb. Yeah. So that's to say. So they took it. He took a piece. He took the science that Einstein had discovered, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He always got credit for it. And then he used that to develop the bomb. Now right. I don't know what kind of fun facts are in that Barbie movie, but <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. What's up with Chad? <laughs> yeah. I know. I don't know what kind of world-changing stuff we're gonna. Oh boy. Learn in that mm-hmm. movie, but uh, it's yeah. gonna affect people on a deep level. 